helping us get to over a hundred subscribers. Woo! Welcome to Twin Talks, and today we're going to talk about whether you should date someone who's unemployed or not. That was a question that we had from one of our viewers, and we thought, what a great question. So, Nikki, what do you think? To me, it's not something that I worry about. I feel that when you're looking at somebody, I'm looking for the potential. I'll tell you straight off the cuff that when I was dating, I was dating people, but I was nowhere near where I wanted to be when I started dating people. It's not something that I would be freaking out about if they didn't have a job right away. Because uh, I sure as hell didn't have anything when I started going out with, with my now husband. I had potential and I think still, still people need to look at people's potential and look at their work ethic and look at their history. Okay, and I would say that for everybody. Sometimes you have people who might not be where they want to be and that's totally fine, but as long as they're moving towards something, I think that's the important thing. I would agree. I find that in our world today, there's so many people that base their life on what their job is and how much money they make. And what they're missing is, what about the virtue? What about the characters that, the character um, that people have to offer? The character is the most important. Are they responsible? Are they reliable? Do they have a strong work ethic? Are they kind? Are they generous? These are the virtues that people should be looking for, not how much money they're, they're making and whether they're employed or unemployed. So I think that when you're unemployed, you should be focusing on yourself. And I see absolutely no reason if they're a good person and they have all the strong virtues of a, of a good dateable person, I don't see why you, you, you can't go out with them on a couple of dates. You might actually make them feel better about themselves. You could help them with their resume, help them get organized. It's not an easy time. I met my husband when I was a student and I was working part-time and he was working full-time and I'm thinking, what if he had judged me by where I was at? I wouldn't have met the man of my dreams, right? And so I think it's important that if you're looking for someone, you can date them. You don't have to marry them right away, but you could certainly <laughs> get to know the person. You could certainly help them and see where the relationship goes. Otherwise, potentially you might lose the person of your dreams. And you know, in this day and age too, you don't, not everybody is lucky enough to have a stable job that you hold for 30 years, like our parents. Mm -hmm. There are several, several professions right now that are on contract basis only, and it could be for three months, six months, two years, five years, and then it's gone. So I think it's important that uh, we look at that because there's going to be people who change jobs very frequently, right? So it doesn't mean that you're a bad person if you don't have work. And even sometimes people who are so-called stable, they don't always have the qualities that you want. They might have the money, but maybe they're, maybe they're spending money like a mad person, even <laughs> though they, the money's coming in every week, they're not seeing any of it, right? So I think it's important. Now, obviously, if you see the patterns of somebody, right? We yes, all have patterns. Yes, yeah. And they're unemployed for, for five years and they haven't, they've been sitting there crying on the couch, You've got to, you know, think about is that good for that person at that time to bring in a, a date? Yes. Maybe not. That's the thing about life though. That is the crazy thing about it. You can have everything one day and then walk in and have nothing the next. And that, what you, but what you do have always is the virtue and, and the, the powers within. We need to support each other and have patience for it because not every not every um, time you're going to be in the perfect space in your life when you meet that person. That's, I totally agree. Life can be great one minute and be a disaster the next, or it can be a disaster and then great the next day. And I think that we just need to be supportive. And we've all been, most of us have been unemployed at some point. It's not an easy time, but I think it's a great time to pull someone and, and, and make them feel better about themselves. And as long as you're striving towards something, then you know what, you'll get to where you want to be at some point. So it's we have to believe in that, otherwise you'll just be 
ca crawled up in a corner in a ball depressed. It is. That's my yeah. true emotion on that. Yeah, and I think that people should be less judgmental and um, help each other out because we've all been there. And anyone who has forgotten, we've all been there and we've all been in our late teens and we've all been in our tumultuous 20s not knowing where life's going to go. And, um, and 30s and 40s. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So it's important just to be have patience with the person and they'll get to where they want to be. That's how I feel. And, and, and you know what? If they're not moving along fast enough, you make your decisions as you see fit. But you have to give people a chance. I think that they need a chance too. And my last point is I have plenty of friends who, you know, they've just said, you know what? And I mean, it, it depends stage of life. But my, some of my friends have worked for years and years and they've saved their money. And they said, you know what, I don't want to do this job anymore. I want to go do something else. And they might be unemployed, but they've saved their money and they have money. But they just aren't announcing it to the masses that they're doing okay. But what's wrong with if you're in the position in life to say to yourself, I want to go do what I want to do because I've been doing something else for 20 years and I haven't reached what I wanted in that job. So if that person has the guts and the cojones <laughs> to call it quits and they've saved their money and they've tried to do something, hey, why not? Go we'll do your thing. I power to them, power to them. I think it's important to just take the bulls by the horn sometimes and take a chance. And if you're not happy with your job, sometimes you can walk away, sometimes you can't, but it's up to you to make that decision. And it's not up to others to judge it. Yes, and I think we should we should totally value the person rather than their position because you are not the position you are the person that you're created to be by your virtues and your character don't forget that right on now preach girl <laughs> preach <laughs> follow us on youtube facebook and instagram and don't forget to subscribe on youtube see you next time on twin talks booyah <laughs>